Hey guys, it's Sam and I'm super excited for today's video because it is like my favorite video to film every Halloween and that is the Halloween Bath and Body Works collection haul. So let's just jump into it. The first thing I'm going to start off with is the pumpkin carving candle. This is my favorite candle to get every single year. It's one of my favorite scents. It's very true to like Halloween and Halloween night. It has the fragrance notes of freshly carved pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds and smooth brown sugar the packaging on this candle is not my favorite I feel like overall the packaging this year I don't really care for I'm not big into like eyeballs and like tentacles I feel like where do tentacles and Halloween collide I don't know but that was their vibe this year can't say that I love it at all but this is one of my favorite scents so even though I don't care for the packaging I did have to get it I don't know something about it just looks really cheap like stickers or something but I'm still not mad about it because the scent is one of my favorites the lid has like some detail it's like 3d and it has three little skulls in the middle which I think is a really nice touch. So this one was on sale, I believe, because it was a three wick candle, but the regular price is $26.95. The next and actually the last candle I got, I know, I got so much more last year because I love the line so much better, but I really was so excited to try out this scent. It is called Candy Apple Cauldron, and it has notes of mysterious green apple, simmering sugar, and crystallized bergamot. And this one, it really reminds me of the Spooky Cider Lane from, I think it was two years ago that they have not brought back since. And I literally refuse to burn my candle I have of it because I'm just waiting for the right time <laughs> and I'm scared they won't bring it back. So I don't really want to burn it, but this really reminds me of it. So like if they just keep this, I'll still be happy that they have this or the Spooky Cider Lane. They are very similar to each other, but still different. The top of the lid has like a ghost figurine type woman in the middle and it smells absolutely amazing. I can't wait to burn this one. And there's a good chance, just like Spooky Cider Lane, that if this is the only one I get, I will not want to burn it. But I think I'll pick up a second one once they go on sale, just because I do not want to pay full price for this again. This was $36.95 for a candle, which is actually insane and kind of embarrassing <laughs> so um can't say i'm too proud of myself but i would also like to note that it's because the like special lid that it has is why it was so expensive so once it goes on sale i'll probably grab another but i did not want to grab more than one um at full price so when I get a coupon or something, you know I will be going back to get a second one of these. Along with the Candy Apple Cauldron, because I did love this scent so much, I got a small little Germex or a hand gel, and it smells just as good. The packaging kind of reminds me of Snow White for some reason, like the apple with the skull, but super excited to try this. And with the Germex, I had to get one of the cutest little Germex holders I've ever seen from Bath & Body Works. It is this little hearse that plays music and lights up. So I'm gonna put the little Germex in there and that's how it looks with the Germex in. But yeah, I love this and wait for the best part. I'm gonna play it again because it's literally so short and I just wanna hear it like all day long. <laughs> But yeah, I cannot wait to put this in my car. I'm so excited. I think that's where I'm going to put it. Or maybe like a purse or something. I don't know. It's kind of bulky for a purse, so I may put it in the car. But the pocket back holder itself was $14.95. And then the Germex was probably like $1.95. Let me see. Yes, it was $1.95, so... I was super excited to get this. I didn't even know that they were bringing these this year. I saw like the ghost that lights up. And if you don't follow me on TikTok, I'll put it right here on the screen somewhere. But I put like a video of like what my Bath & Body Works had inside and showed a bunch of different things and things I didn't get. So if you're interested, check that video out on my TikTok. But yeah, before I went, I didn't even know that they had this for sale. So when I saw it, I knew how to get it. It was super cute and I was so obsessed, so love this. The next two things that I got from the Halloween collection at Bath & Body Works 
our two little soaps. The hand soaps are some of my favorite things to get every year. I actually have a Halloween one out right now in my kitchen from last year. And I think it's like the black um, cathedral like spider one. I think it's vanilla or something. I don't know. Either way, it smells great and I use them year round. So the first one I picked up was the Wicked Vanilla Woods, which I couldn't wait to get specifically because the packaging of this one reminds me of Corpse Bride with the skeleton hands sticking up from the ground, um, the trees, and then not necessarily the snake, but the blue color. This is just like a Corpse Bride hand soap. So I had to pick it up. And then the second and last hand soap that I picked up was the Perfect Pumpkin. Pumpkin is one of my favorite scents, so I always have to get it. But it has the notes of carved pumpkin, spooky cinnamon, and moonlight vanilla. So really love this one, but it has the eyeballs on the packaging. Don't really care for the packaging at all. I hate the eyeballs. I don't understand them. I don't, <laughs> I just can't get behind it, but... I still really wanted it because it was such a bright orange and it reminded me of true vintage Halloween. So I can't wait to use the hand soaps. And you guys know I saved the best for last, although I'm already sad we're at the very last of the haul. I feel like last year's was so much longer, but it's fine. I can't blow hundreds of dollars on Bath & Body Works every single year because that's nuts. But, <laughs> and if you do, I don't judge. Um, I understand, but I'm just trying to do better myself. I'm not even going to explain this one, I'm just going to show it to you. <laughs> so this is a three wick candle holder and the reason I got it, I actually saw it online before I went in store and knew I had to pick it up because the skeleton and like the tombstones really remind me of the haunted house last year that I got, the luminary. And when I saw this, I knew I had to get this because it would look so cute right next to it holding it, another three wick candle. But yeah, it has two little skulls, it has some tombstones. The skeleton and skulls do glow in the dark um, and it has like these gold like trees and he's kind of dancing I guess or holding the trees up. Don't really know what he's trying to do. Still love it. Uh, but yeah, skeleton and skulls glow in the dark. I really love this piece. It is definitely one of my favorites that I've seen from Bath & Body Works so far. And there's a couple more things I wanted to get from Bath & Body Works, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to wait for some things to go on sale or to get more coupons. I did have a $10 off coupon for this haul, which I was super excited about. Um, I still did some damage, but at least I got $10 off. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a three wick candle holder. And honestly, I feel like I wonder if these were supposed to go out last year for that collection because I feel like this fits last year way better than this year's theme. Um, this has no eyeballs, it has no snakes, it has no nothing that they have this year. And I really do think maybe they were supposed to bring it last year and something was delayed on it. I don't know, either way I love it and I'm super excited to have this. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite pieces I've got so far this year. And the price on this one was $39.95. So look how cool this is. I love this. I'm super glad I got it. And that is gonna be it for this year's Bath & Body Works Halloween haul. I can't believe it's already time for the Bath & Body Works Halloween haul. I feel like just a month or two months ago, I couldn't wait for this day. I was looking forward to it so much and I'm just happy that it's here. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.